another lovely day in Lincolnshire. The Mini performed admirably on track. Absolutely annihilated the brakes and the uh, Chinese tyres, but still showed up some faster cars, mainly because I didn't care and I had a 100% commitment. So what's happening today? Short video, I'm gonna tidy this place up and just get it in order because it's gonna drive me mad. So we're gonna have a nice tidy garage, cars in the middle. I'm gonna do maybe a little bit of tapping or dying or whatever it is. And yeah, we'll hope to get the sensors in the right place so I can do the wiring. So this is gonna be really dull, but I'll do a time lapse for the whole thing so no one falls asleep. This is a long two minute clip, unfortunately. Um, it's me showing my builder's bum off and doing a tidy up, but I think you've got to suffer with me on this because it's it's part of the process, putting all the tools away, remembering where to go, putting them somewhere, then hoping you remember where you've put them when you need them, as we'll find out later with the bloody terminals that I couldn't find and the bit that I ended up not putting in this video, which was when I got back home to do the wiring, I'd left the wiring in the bloody garage. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to suffer this one, but you will see a nice tidy garage. I shift the car back over into the middle from the jacking mishap last app, last app, last video even. And yeah, it's just generally, I, oh, you'll even see me get the, uh, the old brush out and give it a sweep too. So, um, so yeah, the rest of the video is me kind of doing the first stage of getting the no diz in. I've managed to get everything mounted. Um, all we need to do is basically wire it in now. So that won't happen soon because I've got to wait for the new wires to arrive um, to do it properly. I've kind of come this far. I don't want to bodge it. But um, yeah, end of... If all the bits arrive, it'll be done this weekend. And then we can get the electrics on radiator back in interior refitted and hopefully give it a maybe you know even crank the bloody thing over who knows um but yeah i should be finished cleaning it by now i can't talk any longer i've run out of stuff to say so uh yeah enjoy the rest of the video guys all right well there's a quick job well done so we can now walk all the way around the car most of the tools are put away, apart from my 3 8 ratchet. It's extension bar and the inevitable 10mm socket that's on it. They're missing in action. Yeah, I didn't clean this bit up. But there's enough space around here that it doesn't really need doing. So, next job. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Look at my fuel pipes. Aren't they sexy? Um, next job is going to be, I think I'm going to put the various sensors where they need to be, put the wires in, put the notice where it needs to be, so I can at least get the wires connected to the sensors, and then I can connect those at home, and that will be progress. Right, so one of the first things I've got to do is mount the... Mount the coil pack now. I did think about sticking it in one of the old fuel pump mounts underneath the carbs, but then I've got the same problem of carburetors potentially leaking and high tensile sparking going on. So I don't see any reason why it can't just sit here. The leads that have come with it by my rough calculations plenty of plenty of room there so that is the one thing that doesn't need doesn't need wiring in because it comes pretty much pre-wired so I've just got to connect that to the plug that goes in the ECU and that can track along the bulkhead firewall whatever the fuck you want to call it really nice and easily so that's a simple one so yes next We've got to do the coolant. 
So let's go and get the bits. Right, so here we are. Now I've spent many a night reading up about these because I think as good as the no diz is, the instructions do assume that you know what you're doing. Um, they aren't foolproof by any stretch of the imagination. So you've got your main, your main loom into the ECU. Um, you have your crank position sensor down there. Got your serial takeoff plug into your laptop. You've got your three pin coil plug and then you've got what comes with them four further wires so got two switched ignitions got a taco wire and an earth so the earth i'm going to create one on the chassis um, i'm not going to do that today but there is already a bolt hole so i'm going to clean that up have the, the earth going straight to the chassis down there the two switched now one of these doesn't actually go into the ECU, only one does. The other within this melee here goes straight to the coil to provide that with 12 volts. And you can't wire this straight into the car. So this has got to be relayed. Um, so I've got switched ignition, which you can't see down here. I've got permanent live here. So I've got all the bits I need to do it. I can take a permanent live straight off the battery and then just have the relay switched from the ignition here. And the node is, is gonna sit down there. Even if you order, which I did, a ZTEC loom, it doesn't come with anything wired in other than the CPS and the coil and the coil pack. So you've gotta do everything yourself. So there is the coolant sensor, the wiring and there is the map sensor and then i have gone along and i'll put the links in for these i've bought a load of these pins because the pins that they use for this this is a delphi connector are different to the pins that are used in all the sensors and it took a bit of investigating to find that out so i'll put all the links in so everyone knows what to buy and then also the correct non-insulated crimp at all so you can crimp it all on properly but essentially what i'm going to do here is i'll take this home and i'll i'll do the crimping at home um but i've got to run the wires from here to where i'm going to mount the nodes and the nodes is sat here in this box it's the laptop wires which we don't need but yeah, this is a, this is the Gen X. This is the new one. Um, it's earthed through the chassis, not through the body. So I'm going to mount it down here. I'll probably put an overlay in and where I'm putting it. Um, so it's all nicely accessible. And then I'll have the serial lead going through into the, into the cockpit. Um, but yeah. I'm going to mount it with. So now then, I won't make you watch um, this through in real time, but if you'd have been watching my face, it would have been vaguely hilarious as I realised my ideal mounting point for the ECU and all the wiring was in fact where the air box for the carp goes. Um, and then I had to rethink all my plans. So best laid plans and all that, I had to relocate the ECU to the other side of the car which actually works pretty well um, and as you'll see by the end of the video I've managed to get the ECU mounted the map sensor and the um, coil pack so I then went home to wire everything in and the wire the gauge of wire I've bought is too thick so I've ordered new wire in the correct colors the correct thickness which is half a mil and also the special keys to remove the pins that I have put to put in the connectors so everything should work um, really nicely but I'm probably going to have to draw this to a close here because I can't make any more progress before the kit arrives but um, yeah I think you can see my face in the video now realizing that I've made a bit of an error 
and I've got to swing everything around to the other side. So I'll let it carry on. Right, I just thought I'd summarise what's happened today. So, um, once I tidied up, I started trying to mount the nodes. I had great plans of putting it in this lovely piece here. All the wiring nice and neat until I realised it's where the airbox goes. So, and you'll see me figure this out in the time lapse. I've then mounted it here. So I've moved my, my bladder for the screen wash, mounted the coil pack, and then here I've mounted the map sensor, and then here I've mounted the nodes. This is the line, I believe it's mercury filled temperature sensor. It goes to the original gauge and it needs to be looped. So I'll tidy that out. I'll tidy that up um, once I've wired it all in. But effectively, to connect it all together now, I need the wires coming from the coolant sensor, crank position sensor, map sensor going into here. Then out of here, I get sensor going on to the coil pack, coil pack to the plugs, and then I need to feed it with power, and then I need to earth it down there. And then that is done, basically. And once that's done, I can start setting the timing and then see if it will run with a bit of, uh, as um, Lord Muck says, Bill Cosby's um, laughing gas put down it. So so that's where we're at. Um, biggest concern today is I seem to have lost my small bag of connectors, which, I mean, if you were looking at those two bags, you'd say they're the same, wouldn't you? Does that mean? Have I put those in here? Are there two different brands of connectors in here, guys? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't think so. They all look the same to me. But then there'd only be 10. Hang on, I'll cut this. This is boring. Aha! <laughs> Found the bastards. Here they are. These are the other ones you need. I'll say I'll put a link in for these. There's a special name which I can't remember. But these, in my opinion, Motorsports Electronics should supply these because it's no good them telling you to wire your own sensors in if you can't plug them into the fucking ECU. So um, negative points, uh, Motorsport Electronics. Basic. Try harder next time. <laughs>